hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is mara today i will be watching game of thrones season one episode three so i just wanted to address something um i've seen people in my comments um, telling me how to react and what to react um but the thing is it's really easy for someone who have seen all the episodes to tell somebody else how they should act or react and I feel like um, that is the wrong thing to do because this is a new thing. I'm just on season two, basically. And you cannot expect someone to know something or to look after something when they don't know uh, what the thing is about. So I think that it's really important to just let the person react the way they want to react. And then when something happens, maybe they will... Um, maybe they will connect to that um and if they miss that that is when you can tell somebody like are oh, you remembering season um one uh, something happened and this is that thing basically um but telling someone like do this think about this um f to me that is a spoiler and i am not okay with it and if you don't like the way i react i am sorry i don't know what to tell you but i like to unfold stuff it's like i'm watching um whenever i am watching somebody else's uh, reaction <clears throat> i like to think or i i am more excited when they find out something that i knew because i've seen um whatever they're reacting to and then it's really fun for me when they realize like oh this happened before or this was something they said before and then I'll be like, yeah, you, you picked up on that. And if they don't, you just write down in the comment, like this thing happened before or it's a continuation or something else. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry I went on a rant, but I feel like it's really easy um, to judge others or to tell others how to act or are, how to be um, because you already know the story. So let's just enjoy this reaction and then hope that everything unfolds um, later on and if i miss something feel free to tell me what i missed in the actual uh, episode yeah so let's watch game of thrones Where's the king? The guards you're here, Stark. About time we had some stern northern leadership. Glad to see you're protecting the throne. People have been swinging at me for years, but they always seem to miss. Chose the uniform wisely. <laughs> they have a rivalry between them, these two. Standing right here, Mandana. It was very brave. What happens? What happened? Five hundred men, and this room was silent as a crypt for the screams, of course. Mad King Larvey and Mesa. When I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. What? It felt like justice. Is that what you tell yourself at night? You're a servant of justice. But you were avenging my father when you shoved your sword in Ares Targaryen's back. You served him well. And serving was safe. I wonder what's uh, the beef between these two. We are all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say pray for the butcher's son. Oh. This meeting could wait another day, but... But we have a kingdom to look after. Perhaps you chose the wrong man to deal with. Well, it wasn't the man that I chose, my lord. It was Catelyn Tully. A woman worth fighting for. I'm sure you'll agree. Oh. Should we begin? Without the king. Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. <clears throat> His grace has many cares. Oh, uh, well. I don't think he wants to be 
to borrow with the Lannisters will accommodate, I expect. We already owe Lord Tywin three million gold. Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I'm telling you the crown That's a lot of money. Tywin finds the money, the king and the hand spend it. Yeah, that's really irresponsible spending money like that. Ow, please, it's nearly healed. I didn't fight off anything. It bit me. All I did was <laughs> true. Spin. And the two Stark girls saw it, both of them. That's not true. You killed the beast. You only spared the girl because of the love your father bears her father. I didn't die. So she is teaching him to lie? Someday, you'll sit on the throne and the truth will Ah, oh, that's not good, mother. Do I have to marry her? Yes. And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasion. We allow the Northerners too much power. They consider themselves our equals. Wow. Double their taxes. And command them to supply 10,000 wow. the royal army. The royal army. If this child become a king, I don't know, man. Seize Winterfell and install someone loyal to the realm as Warden of the North. And these 10,000 Northern troops, would they fight for you or their lord? For me, I'm their king. Mm -hmm. You've just invaded their homeland. Ask them to kill their brothers. I'm not asking. What? This would be a dangerous king, though. So you agree? The Starks are enemies. Everyone who isn't us. Wow. When she grow up, will she become um, a knight? I asked my kids to practice with me. It was my fault. Oh, sweet girl, no, no. I hate them. I hate all of them. The he is a liar. No, shh, darling, listen to me. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She cannot betray him. She must take his side. Even That's when messed wrong. up. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Yeah, we're asking the right questions. You're a Stark of Winterfell. You know our words. Winter is coming. We must protect ourselves. I wonder what Look after one what will happen Sansa in winter. They're talking about winter so much. So, I don't know. We've come to a dangerous place. We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. Yes, he's awake. I forgot about him. He's awake now. Oh, my sweet summer child. Oh, my sweet summer child. I've seen people in the comments writing that. That's funny. Smother their babies rather than see them starve. Is this the sort of story that you like? He said yes. You still don't remember anything? Oh, he has amnesia. Well, he doesn't want to tell. Never fall. I did, though. He doesn't want to tell. He can't walk. I'd rather be dead. It's nine years since I set foot in the capital, and no one knew who I was then. Oh, yeah, she's there. She's looking for her husband. We've been instructed to escort you By whom? Instructed? You little worm! How dare you bring what? me What? You want to sleep with her? How did you know I was coming? No, How did they know she was coming? coming? Did you bring the dagger? He told, he told him. How oh, they are lie. Something you don't. Oh, he knows. That I do. There's only one dagger like this. And that is yours. It's mine. Yours. I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. If that were a real sword, you'd be dead. Do you think Ned Stark's bastard bleeds like the rest of us? Oh wow, they really need training. I think they're done for the day. Well, Lord Snow, it appears you're the least useless person here. The Raven came. He's awake. He will go to speak to him. Good news or bad? Okay. Both. Perhaps you'd like to share it with your wife. Yeah. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? Also, what was the letter about? I thought it was about the wife. 
<laughs> he thought he was lying. Broke my nose, busted. You want another round? It's an improvement. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> yes. You've got an interesting <laughs> face. You want to talk later, lads? No. Nobody knew what this place was. And no one told me. He was given a choice, his right hand or the wall. I've been asking the Lord. So everyone else, he came by choice. The other one didn't. I don't imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. The Queen's brother tried to kill your boy would be considered treason. We have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only they man who could say otherwise gosh. has no throat. Peter has promised to help us. Really? Back. He's like a little brother to me. Really? He would never betray my trust. Or can can we trust him? How could you be so stupid? Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. Nothing. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him and start the king the whole bloody lot of them until you and I are the only people That's messed up. World. I hope nothing happens to her Off with you. on her way home. What about Aerys Targaryen? What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? He called you a traitor. Did he plead for a reprieve? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. I don't think the King trusts this one. Better be careful because it may kill you too. That's a good thing. You can see your enemies you saw it for the first coming. Leaving this morning. Why? You're leaving. They've been disturbing reports. What kind of reports? God, I don't want to believe. We we'll speak when I return. I hope he returns. A nice watch is a joke to you, is it? We don't have enough men to be an army, and aside from your interest, <laughs> none of you are particularly funny. The Khaleesi have baby inside her. Is that a good thing? It Will he take horrible. it? But he didn't take that well. Fox are all right eventually. Winter it's not winter coming. yet because I am seeing snow, and ice. Dark things will come with it. Does winter mean something else? And the fishermen of Lannisport say they see mermaids. Your sister sits by the side of the king. Tell her we need help. And winter does come. God's help us all. Oh yeah, they already. need help because the soldier don't know how to fight. Stark is the only one that can fight. Sorry to see you leave, Lannister. To put Winterfell on your way south. I expect I will. Oh, he wants him to go and see his brother. If you see my brother Bran. Yeah. Tell him I miss him. You are late, boy. That's cool. <laughs> Tomorrow you will catch it. Now pick it up. Her father arranged a trainer. Now so he is okay it. with her being a fighter. You will become a great warrior one day. There you have it, guys. Uh, there wasn't so much fighting in this one, only exercise. And I think in this episode, we followed Lord Snow. It was interesting because the Stark boy, uh, he went, he wanted to become a Night Watch. But when they talk about other boys, they were caught stealing or they were forced to. Um, come and work while he himself wanted to go and work so that was interesting uh, to know uh, and then we have the brother and sister their relationship is a little bit it's interesting to me because I wonder how they started to date I don't know I don't even know how to call it um, and he is willing to kill the king and everybody else. 
to be with his sister that is really really messed up like there are so many ladies in the world <laughs> there are so many ladies in the kingdom and he just he wants to be with his sister so that is really weird and i think that the king do not trust him um and you can see that in his eyes and the way he speaks to him and the way he's behaving um around him that he doesn't trust him and that is the reason why to me i don't know if i missed it but that is the reason why he wanted ned stark to come and be his right hand because he doesn't trust anybody but ned and i think he's right for doing that although ned had to leave his family but i think he's right to trust ned to um, protect him because i think that someone would like to kill the king um because the way the sister and the brother are behaving i think they would try to do something to get the throne or to just kill the king um for whatever reason that we may pop up and then we have Brunt, he woke up and he says that he doesn't remember what happened to him. And that makes me wonder too, is he lying about not remembering? Or is he really not remembering what happened to him? So that is two questions. I don't know if he's lying. B because he did, he was knocked out for a really long time. So it may be possible. And I think if maybe he sees the brother and the sister, he will remember uh, what happened. But I'm not sure. I I think he knows. I think that's something will trigger his memory and then he will remember. So that is messed up that they are trying to kill him. And I know they will do the best to kill that child. Um even though the sister was like no it's just a child but you don't want your secret to come out i think deep down inside she wanted the boy dead and uh, that's really messed up um and then we have uh, and then we have the boy yeah the queen's boy it's amazing the way he is speaking you i don't know but his his father to me he is filled with the revenge he wants to kill um i don't remember the name of the people but the lady with the blonde hair he hates those kind of people and i don't know if the son got it from him but i think the son will be more um evil <laughs> than his father or the mother the way he's speaking the things he was saying that's not the thing a boy should say and he is already thinking about the throne that and i wonder if he would try to kill his father to get the power do you guys think or if you already know don't let me know but will he try to kill his father to sit on the throne because the way he was speaking with hatred um and that his father is not doing enough i think he would try to kill his father or at least he will be influenced by his uncle the prince charming um to try to kill his father and uh, i don't know that's messed up because that's the way he's talking that's not how a good person speaks or that's not how a child should speak and it's so sad that he doesn't want to marry to marry the girl what well, the girl want to marry him and i think by law or they're bound to get married anyway so they can do anything about it so since he doesn't love her, he will not take care of her the way that she deserves. She will be um, treated the way that his mother is being treated. And I don't know, maybe worse because the way he's behaving, I don't know, that's scary. That's really scary on his part. 
but well i think i spoke so much i need to drink water uh but yeah i didn't talk too much in this episode because there wasn't so much to talk about um for some reason it there was only talking that much and not so much happened but it was interesting to see um yeah so i'll see you guys in the next one